Google may have just broken the AI industry with its new AI virtual machines, made from Nvidia's latest and most powerful AI chip, H100, which we discussed in one of our previous videos. But that's not all. The company has also incorporated numerous AI features into already existing apps like Google Docs and Sheets, and added new functionalities to the Bard AI, which we'll cover later in this video. I'm sure you're familiar with ChatGPT and how you can use prompts to tell the AI bot to do various things like writing articles or crafting email letters and sales copies. But what if you could do all these things without GPT? Imagine you could create a comprehensive email right there on your phone with your email app. Well, Google has just rolled out this new feature for Gmail. Check it out. Let me start with a few examples of how generative AI is helping to evolve our products. Let's say you got this email that your flight was canceled. The airline has sent a voucher, but what you really want is a full refund. You could reply and use Help Me Write. Just type in the prompt of what you want, an email to ask for a full refund, hit Create, and a full draft appears. As you can see, it conveniently pulled in flight details from the previous email. And it looks pretty close to what you want to send. Maybe you want to refine it further. In this case, a more elaborate email might increase the chances of getting the refund. The feature is called Help Me Write. It'll be part of Google's next update. So it's safe to say that by the end of this year, you'll find this feature in your Gmail app. As interesting as this new Gmail feature is, Google did something even more interesting for the Google Maps app. I'm sure you're familiar with current Google Map features like route suggestions, estimating arrival time, real time weather, etc. All of these help you estimate, plan, and coordinate your journey, even if you're going to unfamiliar destinations. But imagine if you could actually see your whole trip from a bird's eye view as though you are flying through that route. With Google's new immersive view feature, this is now possible. Say I'm in New York City and I want to go on a bike ride. Maps has given me a couple of options close to where I am. I like the one on the waterfront, so let's go with that. Looks scenic. And I want to get a feel for it first. Click on immersive view for routes and it's an entirely new way to look at my journey. I can zoom in to get an incredible bird's eye view of the ride and and as we turn, we get onto a great bike path. And if I want to check traffic and weather and see how they might change over the next few hours, I can do that. Looks like it's going to pour later, so maybe I want to get going now. If you're excited about this feature, it's already been launched. The only thing is, it's only available in select cities around the world. Google will keep adding more cities in the coming months. Another app that was recently tweaked with AI is Google Photos. Google added a new feature called the Magic Editor. It's completely mind-boggling. This is a great photo, but as a parent, you always want your kid at the center of it all. And it looks like the balloons got cut off in this one. So you can go ahead and reposition the birthday boy. Magic Editor automatically recreates parts of the bench and balloons that were not captured in the original shot. As a finishing touch, you can punch up the sky. It changes the lighting in the rest of the photo so the edit feels consistent. It's truly magical. The editor also has a smart editing ability that ensures your edits are homogenous and balanced. Magic Editor will roll out this year, 2023, and just like the other features we mentioned, it'll be free for all. You see, unlike most companies, Google isn't just focused on creating new AI systems, but also upgrading the previous apps to feature the latest AI technologies. This is why they created a new, improved version of their former pathway language model, Palm, called Palm 2. Just so you know, Google Palm is a generative AI that helps developers build applications without having any prior expertise in machine learning or coding. Palm 2 takes things even further, and surprisingly enough, it's already becoming a pace setter in the world of generative AI. Today, we are ready to announce our latest Palm model in production, Palm 2. Palm 2 builds on our found fundamental research and our latest infrastructure. It's highly capable at a wide range of tasks and easy to deploy. We are announcing over 25 products and features powered by Palm 2 today. Palm 2 models deliver excellent foundational capabilities across a wide range of sizes. We have affectionately named them Gecko, Otter, Bison, and Unicorn. Gecko is so lightweight that it can work on mobile devices, fast enough for great interactive applications on device, even when offline. 
Palm 2 can also read and understand over a hundred different languages and can be fine-tuned to specific knowledge fields. For instance, SecPalm is Google's fine-tuned Palm 2 model for security, while MedPalm is made for medical science. Another example is MedPalm 2. In this case, it's fine-tuned on medical knowledge. This fine-tuning achieved a 9x reduction in inaccurate reasoning when compared to the model, approaching the performance of clinician experts who answered the same set of questions. In fact, MedPalm 2 was the first language model to perform at expert level on medical licensing exam style questions and is currently the state of the art. We are also working to add capabilities to MedPalm 2 so that it can synthesize information from medical imaging like plane films and mammograms. Google's Palm 2 aims to make AI available and beneficial to people worldwide, regardless of their race, discipline, or field of expertise. Another innovative AI project that Google is working on, similar to Palm 2, is Gemini. Which is still in training. Gemini was created from the ground up to be multimodal, highly efficient at tool and API integrations, and built to enable future innovations like memory and planning. While still early, we are already seeing impressive multimodal capabilities not seen in prior models. Once fine-tuned and rigorously tested for safety, Gemini will be available at various sizes and capabilities. But as impressive as these new AI models are, Google is still pushing the limits with BARD. As you well know, BARD is Google's rival to ChatGPT. It is a generative AI that uses machine learning and natural language processing to generate responses to user prompts. It was launched on March 21st, 2023. And since then, Google has been working extensively on the app to make improvements. Now they've added another exciting feature to BARD, programming. BARD can now collaborate on tasks like code generation, debugging, and explaining code snippets. Now BARD can also help me understand the code. Could you tell me what chess.board does in this code? Now this is a super helpful explanation of what it's doing and makes things more clear. This significant breakthrough in the BARD AI was greatly aided by Palm 2. The AI can also act as a coach to help you understand a difficult code or improve a code for you. But this is not all. Google has made improvements to make this AI more visual and interactive. So if you ask, what are some must-see sites in New Orleans? Bard's going to use Google search and the knowledge graph to find the most relevant images. The French Quarter, the Garden District, these images are really giving me a much better sense of what I'm exploring. We'll also make it easy for you to prompt Bard with images, giving you even more ways to- Bard can also organize results and even export them to other Google apps. So if you ask, what are some must-see sites in New Orleans? Bard's going to use Google search and the knowledge graph to find the most relevant images. The French Quarter, the Garden District, these images are really giving me a much better sense of what I'm exploring. This is just the tip of the iceberg though. Bard will work hand in hand with all kinds of apps on the internet, from YouTube to Adobe. Every app will be compatible with Bard, making the possibilities even wider for users. Moreover, Google is now making Bard available in over 180 different countries, and they're also configuring the AI to support 40 languages besides English. With these new improvements, surely we can see that ChatGPT may soon become outdone by Bard. But Google isn't stopping with Bard. They've made some amazing changes to Google Workspace as well. The ultimate purpose of Workspace programs is to allow users or workers to collaborate with each other in real time. One of our most popular use cases is the trusty job description. Every business, big or small, needs to hire people. A good job description can make all the difference. Here's how Docs has been helping. Say you run a fashion boutique and need to hire a textile designer. To get started, you enter just a few words as a prompt. Senior level job description for textile designer. Docs will take that prompt, send it to our Palm 2 based model, and let's see what I got back. Not bad. With just seven words, the model came back with a good starting point written out really nicely for me. To collaborate with AI, all a user needs to do is input prompts. But here's the kicker. What if the AI itself could offer you the prompts to use? Let's see a typical example. Now what's happening behind the scenes is that we've provided the entire document as context to the model, along with the suggested prompt, and let's see what we got back. The golden seashell was eaten by a giant squid that lives in the cove. <laughs> this is a good start. Let's insert these as notes so that we can continue our little project. 
And this is exactly what AI can help with. Surely this feature will help speed up your work and save you the trouble of struggling to find the perfect prompts. This feature isn't just for text-based data. It can also work for audio. For instance, you can use it to create speaker notes for slides. Now let's go into something more general, something we all use every day, Google search. Thanks to artificial intelligence and deep learning, Google has made its search engine smarter so that even complex search inputs are properly decided and answered. Plus, they've added an upgrade to search results as well. So you can get even more out of a single search. There's an AI-powered snapshot that quickly gives you the lay of the land on a topic. And so here you can see that while both parks are kid-friendly, only Bryce Canyon has more options for your furry friend. Then if you want to dig deeper, there are links included in the snapshot. The aim of all of this is to make searching smarter and simpler so that you can get your needed results, whether text-based or visual. The AI-powered snapshot will always provide you as a user with smart suggestions to make your search more accurate. But what if you could use the Google search engine in a chatty way, similar to how you use ChatGPT? The new follow-up feature lets you do this effortlessly. Done some research, you might want to explore more. So right under the snapshot, you'll see the option to ask a follow-up question or select a suggested next step. Tapping any of these options will bring you into our brand new conversational mode. In this case, maybe you want to ask a follow-up about e-bikes. So you look for one in your favorite color, red. And without having to go back to square one, Google Search understands your full intent and that you're looking specifically for e-bikes in red that would be good for a five-mile commute with hills. And even when you're in this conversational mode, it's an integrated experience. So you can simply scroll to see other search results. These new generative AI capabilities on Google Search also unlock new generative abilities on the search engine. You could use it to do some tasks very similar to what is done on ChatGPT. For instance, the new Google Search engine could craft a social media post for you in a matter of seconds. Just so you know, Google won't roll out this new search engine for public use just yet. For now, at least for 2023, it'll only be available in Google Search Labs, so you'll have to go to the official site to try it out. But there are other things that you can try outside of Google Labs. One of these is Google Clouds. Google Clouds can now aid you in creating your own generative AI apps via Google's new platform, Vortex AI. You just select the model you want to use, create prompts to tune the model, and you can even fine tune the model's weights on your own dedicated compute clusters. The platform also allows you to create cloud database for your app or company. Another interesting feature tied to Google Cloud is the Duet AI. It can provide you contextual code completion, offer suggestions tuned to your code base, and generate entire functions in real time. It can even assist you with code reviews. And Google has made sure to ensure that all of these AI capabilities on their workspace are not only faster, but cheaper. If you're an avid developer of generative AI, whether for yourself or for your business, the Google Cloud and Workspace can make you double productivity for extremely low costs. You see, the range of possibilities with any artificial intelligence system all boils down to its infrastructure. Google uses an AI-optimized infrastructure to ensure that AI systems perform well well, regardless of the workloads. But things are about to get even better with Google's new A3 virtual machines. The A3 virtual machines, based on NVIDIA's latest H100 GPUs, we provide the widest choice of compute options for leading AI companies like Anthropic and Midjourney to build their future on Google Cloud. However, there's still more to come. Google's new project, Tailwind, works like an expert journalist to create content based on any information you feed it. Today, we're excited to announce a new addition to this infrastructure family, the A3 virtual machines, based on NVIDIA's latest H100 GPUs. We provide the widest choice of compute options for leading AI companies like Anthropic and Midjourney to build their future on Google Cloud. This project is still in its prototype, 
but it shows a lot of promise. It'll be useful for anyone looking to organize, edit, or revamp any piece of information from specific sources, from writers to lawyers and analysts. Tailwind would serve very efficiently. From now, it's only accessible on Google Labs. Now, given all these mouthwatering upgrades in regards to generative AI, you'd agree that there's a growing risk of what harm can be done when these capabilities are exploited for the wrong reasons. This is why Google is also taking steps to prevent things like these. For instance, they're making it possible for you to easily spot AI-generated images. As we begin to roll out the generative image capabilities, like Sundar mentioned, we will ensure that every one of our AI-generated images has metadata, a markup in the original file to give you context if you come across it outside of our platforms. But you'd agree that it's not only images that can be faked or AI generated these days. Even videos too can be manipulated with AI. For example, check out what Google's Universal Translator is capable of. What many college students don't realize is that knowing when to ask for help and then following through on using helpful resources is actually a hallmark of becoming a productive adult. This app uses next generation translation models, which is why the result is so amazing. Even the lip movements and the voice match almost perfectly. Certainly, such an AI like this will be disastrous when misused by bad people. This is why Google is making the universal translator available only to authorized partners. You can see how this can be incredibly beneficial, but some of the same underlying technology could be misused by bad actors to create deep fakes. Don't forget to watch these videos as well. Hit that subscribe button, like, and drop a comment below to let us know your thoughts.